Glamrock for me. <laughs> Glamrock did it again. <laughs> Hey, hey, Glam Squad. Welcome back to another tutorial. If it's your first time here, like and subscribe to my Glam Squad. Hey, boo. Let's get straight into this look. So I moisturized your skin with my Lancome moisturizer. I added some um, something to soften up her lips. And now I'm going in with my NARS moisturizer also. Now I'm taking my IMV eyelash glue. This is the secret that you guys asked me to do a longevity with brows. That's what I use. And I'm just using a spoolie to comb that up and make sure that it is tacky. The hairs are in place going the direction that I want them to. And yeah, and next thing I'm going to do is use my MAC brow pencil and the color strut stud I think it's stud I love 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 my client Natalie whenever we get together sis it's a vibe so I'm doing um sh longer strokes towards the tail end of the brows to make them a little bit darker and I love this pencil. It's not too light, but it's not too dark. And it has the tint of ashiness that I like. Yes, a little bit of ashiness. And um, I am just filling in the front and light strokes. And use this spoolie on the back of the brow pencil to brush that up. I barely like using any product towards the front end of brows. I'm using the Juvia's Place Concealer in the color 12 and I am also going to use my Wet n Wild Concealer and I think Coco for the beginning of the eyebrows. Let's get into this look. I love, love, love this look from beginning to end. We were just catching up on the family and healing as women. I love, love, love speaking to my clients and just catching up from the time we haven't seen each other and life has been good. I'll tell you one thing, honey, we have healed. We are ready, Lord. We have healed. So back into the brows. So I am just dragging out that concealer, making sure I shape the brows. Now I lost some of the clip, but I'm using my Morphe 35B palette and all of the colors that I use is exactly in this palette. I'm using two different blending brushes, one for the lighter color, one for the darker color I went in the crease, and I am going back and forth and blending. Yeah, honey, she was loving her eyes already. Okay, boo. So I am taking a concealer, which is uh, the Tarte Tate Ship and Tan Sand. And I was just using that to go back over her eyes. Now, I don't want to do a cut crease, so I am taking my time to do that. Then I applied a lighter champagne shadow on top of that concealer. There wasn't a light there, too. And I am just blending that out. Now I am using right, an elf. You. I think this is a shadow brush. All the details will be at the bottom to apply the shadow. And I am taking my time to apply the shadow, making sure that I do not create more like a cut crease board, more something oval. As you can see, we were just talking and having fun. Like, let me tell you, it was a whole birthday party for her in my beauty room. Let 
Like I love seeing her smile. I, I just love seeing women heal and smile in general. Now I'm taking that same blending brush. I am going over the edges of that concealer on this eye, making sure everything looks smooth. I tell everyone this, if you do not like to blend, if you do not have the patience to blend, don't do your makeup. Like from beginning to end, it takes a lot of patience with blending. Now I'm taking a darker color and I'm adding towards more like a brick color, brick brownish color towards the ending of her eye, her crease. Just to deepen that up a little bit. I took a little shimmer and put it at the center of her eye. And now I'm using my ink block gel number 77 with a small pointing disposal brush. Now this is primer. I use a lot of primers. I always use a moisturizing primer and a mattifying primer on my clients. And that's what I'm doing right now. The Hard Candy 24 Hour Primer and also my Too Faced Peach Primer, I forgot what the name exactly is called. Now I'm using my foundation palette by uh, Raptobia. And I'm starting with a brighter color under her eye, her eye. But you guys can watch this process. And now I'm going back in. As you guys can see, I do not use a lot of brushes. Literally, I'm going to have to make a video about this. I use my brushes for everything that I like to use. Now I'm just blending out her face. Now I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Concealer and I am just applying a concealer that's about one shade lighter than her skin tone. I do not like going too bright under my client's eye. That's just for me. That's just my aesthetic when it comes to my makeup from my clients. Anything that's a do it or woman But I have to say, black girls, this is all. 
big difference. Now I am just taking a brush and I am using MAC Dark Deep and MAC Dark Deepest, mixing those two up and going over her face, bringing everything in together and also taking away any of the setting powder that I set under her eyes with and just blending everything in. Now I'm taking this Juvia's Place blush. As you can see, I'm missing three blushes. I'm gonna ask my client to smile and I just softly applied the blush to the apples of her cheek. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Yes, girl. This look was everything. Okay, like everything. Thank you guys for watching. This is my friend.